Hello, Igor Young Minds! Ngayon ay pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa volume of Solid Figures. Muli po, ito si Teacher Juan. Para sa hindi pa nakaka-subscribe, ay mag-subscribe po kayo para updated kayo sa ating mga video lessons every week. Okay? At kapag may natutunan naman sa lesson na ito, ay huwag po natin kalimutan i-share sa iba para may matutunan din naman sila. Okay, simulan po natin. Okay. Let's start by the volume of a prism. Okay. Sa volume ng prism, ito ang prism. Okay. Sa volume ng prism, ang kailangan mo lang ay tatlong dimension. Okay. Kailangan mong malaman ang kanyang length. Kailangan mong malaman ang width. Kailangan mong malaman ang height. Kapag nakuha mo na o kapag alam mo na ang tatlong sukat na ito ng prism, masusold mo na ang volume ng prism using this formula. Wherein, the volume of a prism is equals to the length, the width, and the height. Or the product of the length, the width, and the height. Now, let's say that in this particular prism, the length is 3 meters, the width is 2 meters, and then the height is 5 meters. Kapag ito ang given lahat, sabi ni sir, ang kailangan ko lang palang malaman, length, width, and height lang, given lahat. Ibig sabihin, using this formula, length, width, and height, ay masusold mo na ang volume ng prism na ito. Okay, by using the formula, let us just replace the values. The length is 3 meters, the width is 2 meters, and then the height is 5 meters. And then, multiply everything lang. Okay, simula tayo lagi sa kaliwa. 3 times 2, that is 6 square meters. And then, 6 times 5, that is 30 cubic meters. Take note, ang unit ng ating volume ay lagi yang cubic units. Okay? Ibig sabihin, the volume of this particular prism is 30 cubic meters. Next tayo. Now, let's talk about the volume of pyramid. Okay, sa previous lesson, nalaman natin na ang pyramid, ang volume ng pyramid is just a one-third of the volume of a prism. Okay, ngayon makikita natin dito. Ang kailangan mo naman para masolve ang volume ng pyramid ay itong mga to. You have to know the length, you have to know the width, and you have to know the height. Yes po, kung napapansin ninyo, same lang ang kailangan natin doon sa prism. Kung saan, ang formula naman ng volume ng pyramid ay ito. One-third, the volume of a pyramid is equals to one-third of uh, base and height. Or, the volume of a pyramid is equals to one-third of the length, the width, and the height. Kaya ito yung ginagamit natin. Pero, ang pinakapaboritong gamitin formula is this one. Okay? The volume is length times width times height divided by 3. Kasi medyo hindi siya nakakalito kasi uh, wala siyang one-third, one-third. Okay. Let's say for example, in this particular pyramid, given ang length that is 3 meters, the width is 2 meters, and then the height is 5 meters. Same lang na no? pinakita ko doon sa, no? sa prism kanina. Okay. Using this formula, volume is equals to length times width times height divided by 3. You just have to replace the values lang. Okay. Wherein, length is 3 meters, the width is 2 meters, and then the height is 5 meters, divided by 3, that is constant. Okay. Again, from left to right tayo, multiply tayo, that is 3 times 2. Okay. 3 times 2 times 5. Okay. 3 times 2 is 6 times 5, that is 30 cubic meters, divided by 3. Okay. And then, next, you have to divide na. 30 divided by 3, that is 10 cubic meters. Meters. Ibig sabihin, okay, kung mapapansin ninyo, ito yung volume kanina ng ating prism, dinibide natin sa tatlo, naging 10 cubic meters lang siya. Okay? So that is why the volume of this particular pyramid is just 10 cubic meters. Next tayo. Now let's talk about the volume of a cylinder. Okay, so ito ang cylinder. Sa cylinder naman, ang units na kailangan mo dyan or ang sukat na kailangan mo dyan or dimensions that you need to know is the height of the cylinder and then the radius of the base of the cylinder. Kapag alam mo na ang height ng cylinder and then the radius of the base, ay masusolve mo na ang volume ng cylinder using this formula. Wherein, volume of a cylinder is equals to pi wherein pi is a mathematical constant that has a value of approximately 3.14. 
Okay? So that is pi r squared h or pi times the radius squared times height. Ito lang po gagamitin natin. Let's say for example, in this particular cylinder, given ang height that is 5 cm, and then the radius is 2 cm. Okay, since ito lang naman dalawa ang kailangan natin, masusolve na natin ang volume ng cylinder using our formula. Ipapalit lang natin yung values ng height at saka ng radius, ito na ang mangyayari niya. So volume, pi is 3.14, radius is 2 cm, squared ha, okay, squared, and then the height is 5 centimeters. Okay. Ngayon, let us try to solve. Since meron tayong exponent, hindi muna tayo mag-multiply ng iba dyan. Okay. Unahin natin tong merong exponent. So that is 2 cm times 2 cm and that is 4 cm squared. Okay. Ngayon, multiplication na tayo lahat from left to right tayo. 3.14 times 4, that is 12.56 square centimeters. And then, 12.56 square centimeters times 5. The answer now for the volume is 62.8 cubic centimeters. Again, since volume pinag-uusapan natin, it should be cubic units. Next time. Now let's talk about a volume of a cone. Okay. Sa previous lesson, nalaman natin ang volume ng cone ay one third din lang yan ng volume ng cylinder. Kaya naman, sa volume ng cone, ang kailangan nating malaman ay ito ulit. Kailangan nating malaman ang height at kailangan nating malaman ang radius. Yes po, same din lang yan ang sa cylinder. Okay, kapag alam mo na ang height, kapag alam mo na ang radius, maksusolve mo na ang volume ng cone using this formula. Wherein volume of a cone is equals to one third of the base and height or one third times pi r squared height. Or, ito ang mas gusto kong gamitin ulit, uh, volume of a cylinder is equals to pi r squared height the vol this is the volume of a cylinder, sorry, volume of a cylinder divided by 3. Okay? So, mas gusto ko talaga itong gamitin. Okay. Now, let's say, given na ang volume ng cone na to, or the height of the cone is 5 cm, and then the radius of this cone is 2 cm. Ngayon, masusolve na natin siya. So, ang kailangan na naman pala ay height lang at saka radius. Since given ang dalawa, masusolve na natin using this formula. Okay? Replace the values lang. Again, Pi is a mat mathematical constant. Ang value niya ay 3.14. Radius is 2 cm squared. And then the height is 5 cm. Okay? Divided by 3. 3 is also constant. Okay. Unahin uli natin yung merong exponent. Okay? That is 2 cm times 2 cm. And that is 4 cm squared. Okay? Divided by 3. So, puro multiplication ng nasa taas. Multiplication tayo from left to right tayo. 3.14 times 4, that is 12.56 square centimeters. Okay? okay? Times 5 divided by 3 pa 12.56 times 5, that is now 62.8 cubic centimeters divided by 3. And then lastly, 62.8 cubic centimeters divided by 3. The answer now is 20.93 cubic centimeters. Okay, so the volume of this particular cone with a height of 5 cm and the radius of 2 cm is 20.93 cubic centimeters. Next time. Now let's talk about the volume of a sphere. Okay, this is a sphere. Sa sphere naman, okay, kung uh, ang kailangan mo lang malaman dito is the radius of the sphere. Yun lang, isa lang. Kapag alam mo na ang radius ng sphere, masusolve mo na ang volume ng sphere using this formula. Wherein, 4 thirds, uh, volume of the sphere is equals to 4 thirds pi r cube. Okay? Or, mas gusto ko dito, uh, volume is equals to 4 times pi times r cube divided by 3. Okay? So, ito gamitin natin. Now, let's say for example, this particular sphere has a radius of 2 inches. Okay. Given, radius lang ang kailangan, ibig sabihin, masusolve na natin siya. Using the formula, uh, volume of a sphere is equals to 4 times pi times r cubed divided by 3. Replace the values lang. Okay, 4 is constant. Pi is 3.14. R or the radius is 2 inches cubed. Okay, divided by 3. Merong exponent ulit, unahin natin to. So this is just 2 times 2 times 2. 3 uh, times 2. 3 kasi ang exponent niya. Ibig sabihin yan, you have to multiply 2 3 times by itself. 
Okay? Now, 2 times 2 times 2, that is 8 uh, cubic inches. Okay? Multiplication na lahat sa taas. Let us start from left to right. 4 times 3.14, that is 12.56 times 8 uh, cubic inch divided by 3 again. And 12.56 times 8, that is now 100.48 cubic inch divided by 3. And 100.48 divided by 3, the answer now is 33.49 cubic inches. Ibig sabihin, the volume of this particular sphere with a radius of 2 inches is 33.49 cubic inch. Okay? I think that's all for this lesson. Sana may natutunan and don't forget to subscribe.